What's up guys, Chris from Closet Weave here, and we're back in my closet to watch episode 22 of Ranking of Kings. The last episode we had the epic fight between King Boss and Boji, and Boji was able to take care of uh, Boss pretty easily it looked like. Uh, it looked like Boji was the counter to King Boss and his invincible strength. And I really liked how they did that fight. They, even though King Boss was in Dida's body, they portrayed it as if uh, Boji was fighting King Boss as if he were in his giant form. So yeah, we had that epic fight scene and everyone got to see just how strong Boji is. The big four decided to side with Boji. They chose him over King Boss. And then Boji protected them. They wanted to protect Boji, but Boji stepped in front of all of them and fought King Boss himself. And then uh, Moranjo uh, came to terms with uh, what she did was wrong and she just decided she wanted to just let it all go and just die. And then King Boss was uh, going to join her. And then Boji made the decision to, to break the mirror and that released King Boss and Moranjo. Their souls went flying. And the demon came out and was about to try and eat, or did eat Moranjo. Then she was stuck in, t in the demon world, in that dark place. And yeah, that's where the episode ended. So let's see what's gonna happen next. Let's jump into episode 22 of Ranking of Kings. A promise to the demon. Started with the intro. And Dida, are you back? Oh, boss is showing you something. Then he gets the first look at these memories. <laughs> Dang. She just wanted to end it all. She just couldn't be happy after what happened. Damn, they were they were together for a minute. Oh there, she just wanted to try and make that dream come true. <laughs> the big toe? Dang, this man wants a challenge. Oh, that's the dude that freaking rolled over Gyakuza. Oh, dang. Boss got ran. That's the power of a god. <laughs> and that's, I guess, her goal was to make him stronger. And that's the deal with the demon. Yeah. Oh, dang. Dang, so this demon was asked a whole bunch. A whole bunch of wishes. And that was the first promise that she broke? Yeah, I guess it is. Oh dang, now Dida's going to feel terrible. Oh, dang, and then he was able to defeat him. 
And but he feels bad because he took this tower of his son. Dang, he has to see the whole plan unfold. This man is just going to have so much conflicting feelings. But he's back. Uh oh. Oh yeah, this man just eating souls and spinning them back out. Oh, Boji about to fight him. <laughs> he wants to get shot up there. Oh, I thought he was like, shoot me up there. <laughs> okay. Whoa, okay. Does he have power like freaking Oaken? Dude, Despo, you're about to die, bro. Oh, that's how he's gonna make the wish to save Oaken? Orange. What is happening? He's gonna take the wish? You only do one wish at a time or what? Okay, he made his decision. He spent all that time with Moranjo, I guess. Then heard his dad. Dang, they went to save them both? Look at your savior. Oh, they forgive you, Moranjo. Now what? He can't have another wish? What the? The body was frozen? So now he turns more ugly? Dang, they gotta find the demon again to save Oaken? Or maybe Moranjo's gonna help them save Oaken. But wait, is that her body? Cause like, wasn't her body mutilated by the freaking uh, Gyakuza people? <laughs> Wife? I guess he did grow up with the mirror the whole time. What the heck? This is all so sudden. Like, do you love Dido? You love King Boss, no? Okay, this is a little weird for me. <laughs> All pieces souped. She's gonna find a way. She's cool with the demon. Dang. Oaken told him. He did tell him. <laughs> He's gonna pay the man. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is this a real body? Yeah, we gotta be an example. 
罪滅ぼしになるかもしれないですねこれからはみんなを幸せにしてあなたも幸せにおなりなさい Just like your mama said You gotta spread the happiness Oh, <laughs> and look at Dida maturing out here. That's right. You just do your own thing, and then people will learn to appreciate it. And you'll find a best friend along the way. <laughs> oh, he's heated. How oh, is he gonna freaking wage war against them? Okay. <laughs> Understanding, King. Oh, he wants to get one of the treasures. Shoot, bro. What is he gonna grab from the treasure vault? Oh, you get your son back. Oh, she's still acting like the prideful mother. <laughs> Look at your two sons, healing. Aww. She's crying. So proud. <laughs> Let her be a mom for a second. Aww, your baby. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, gosh. Well, she, she's going to be able to forgive her. He's about to tell her that's, that's my wife. That's my soon to be wife. <laughs> She's gonna be freaked out. She's. <laughs> yep. Alright. Death Hell gets to get some treasure. Oh, jeez. This, is, this feels like it's another test for the, the first ranked king. Like, will he choose the thing to make him go mad, or choose something selfless to help more people? Oh gosh, flame went out. Oh! No intro video goes by so fast. Alright, Marvanjo is back alive. My only question is, is that even a real body? Because I thought in the past her... Her body was mutilated and she was being, uh, she was using puppets or something. But maybe that wizard with all the body parts or whatever King Boss had was able to help repair her body. But maybe that's just something I'm confused about. And Dad is about to marry her, make him, make her his wife. And everyone is out alive. Oaken wasn't able to be saved, but it looks like Desha is going into the treasure vault. And maybe there's something there that will save his brother. But everything seems to be being resolved pretty pretty nicely. Can't wait to see what happens next. It's going to be the finale. Such a great anime. Um, I love everything about it. This was only the, the one weird thing I'm, uh, I I feel about it, it's like Daida just wanting to marry her all of a sudden. But you know what? I'll just let it slide. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.